Hello and welcome back to Elden Worm, episode 34? 34, 34, right? Yeah, I think it's 34. Uh, last time we fought a knight cavalry here and almost got rudely interrupted by a bunch of cuckoo knights. Also, maybe take a... Just a brief moment to get some revenge on said Kuko Knights. Do I have any kind of a pole axe? That would be nice. No, I'll use the Knight's Halberd. Vanish Knight's Halberd. You guys aren't Knights of the Kuko. Kuku? You're a Knight of the Kuku! You! I want my revenge on you. You and your horse. There we go. Beastard. I kind of also want their armor. They've got really nice blue and red, blue, red, gold armor. It's beautiful. Anyway. Uh, if I end up farming Kuko Knight armor, I'll do that off camera. This is probably the place to do it as well because there's. Hey, here, just. There's a couple of them randomly wandering about here. And I've got the stamina where I can just absolutely destroy these fudges. Also, Crystal Bud. Lovely. Hey, another one! And, you know, there's still decent runes too. Uh, let's see. What am I looking for here again? Oh, yes! There it is. I was looking for this church. Hmm. Root resin. Just outside this church. Good to remember. This is the Bellum Church. This church is interesting because this does not have a statue of America. It has a statue of Radagon. So instead of a tasty pretty lady... Get this Radigan fellow. Who is, as you might remember, the ex husband or consort to Queen Renala and the current consort and husband to Queen Marika. And apparently the second Elden Lord, but where the heck he is right now? Small spoiler warning. He's not the second Elden Lord. There were other Elden Lords, several other Elden Lords, presumably, before Radigan and Godfrey. Uh, let's see. Uh, do we have any other sacred tiers? No. Golden seeds, not enough golden seeds. Well, I know where we can get another golden seed. Pretty close by, even. We take the bottom exit. And then we have another friendly merchant here. Hello. What do you have? Oh, you have a cookbook? We want that, because it's a cookbook. You sell three rune arcs. That is interesting to note. Yeah. Tree branch press with an incantation of unallied gold. Pierce the fell using a feet to turn them into temporary ally. The Imperium Mikkel is loved by many people. Indeed, he has learned very well how to compel such affection. Yeah, I think this is a pretty major clue. Do I want... I mean, I'm gonna buy at least one of them. That could be useful if I remember to actually use it. But that is also a pretty major clue to... 
potentially solving a lot of mysteries of this game's lore. The fact that Mikula apparently can charm people? And Mikula as a character is still very much a mystery to most of the community in the game because Mikula, again, spoiler warning, um, shall we say is a character of very limited presence despite the fact that he is extremely important to the plot. Another Knight of the Cuckoo. This one dismounted. That's okay. All these horrible things. Give a good little smack on the way past. Don't particularly care for them. All I'm here for... ...is this golden seed. A couple of random items and a grace. A grace that's actually pretty important and we will probably come back to at some point. But right now we're going to leave this ladder and only touch the grace. There's something very interesting about this area and this ladder and where it goes up to. But it's not any of our immediate concern. Yeah. As usual, teardrop scarabs. Well, in this case, it wasn't a teardrop scarab. That rose. In this case, it wasn't really a teardrop scarab. It was just uh, an, an ash of war scarab, I guess. Whatever. It was a scarab. Oh. I wonder what's causing my connection to be flaky. I was playing other multiplayer games yesterday that didn't have this issue, so maybe it's. My connection to the Elden Ring servers? Oh well, it doesn't particularly matter. I like having access to messages even though I don't click on them very often. And phantoms of other players. Oh, I'm considered aggroed. Well, okay. Let's have some fun. There we go. No? There we go. Hop to it. Ooh, speaking of Mikola. Trina's lilies. And a crystal bud. Excellent. Um, <laughs> anything else particularly important here right now? No, I don't feel like going to the Carrion Manor yet. And this is just going to be me messing about a little bit this morning. Instead, I'm going to show you something else pretty neat. And that other pretty neat thing is... Oh! Over this way. Over there, that big building in the distance. Ah! It's well guarded! With trebuchets. But we're not heading there. That is the Grand Lift of Rold, and we really do not care for it. It does amuse me that the Grand Lift of Rold... Uh, no, not Rold. This is Dectus, not Rold. Silly me. Anyway, the Grand Lift of Dectus is... Uh, Essentially, the game points you to go here. This is... Uh, 
Well, as it as it says, it's a lift. It gets you up there to the Altus Plateau, which is significantly closer to the Earth Tree. But it's not the only way up there. There are two two other ways of getting up to the Altus Plateau, to my knowledge. Probably, actually, I think there's three. Yeah, there's three. There's three ways up there. And as much as, for some weird reason, the finger readers, you know, talk about alternate routes as being cowards' ways, all three the alternate routes to get up there are significantly harder, in my opinion. Hello, giant rat with like, yellow flaming eyes, who's really tough. Ah, uh, and it calls madness. See, that's the thing that I wanted to show you. You might remember from quite a while ago. Madness, it's a thing. to plan my approach carefully. Yeah. Nice. That fire in the sky? Yeah, we're gonna put a stop to that. It's like the bloody eye of Sauron up there. Alright. I'm gonna wait it out one more time and then I'm gonna go. Because... While we're looking at it, in its vague, just even vague direction... Woo! We get hit by a ton of madness buildup. Which uh, is not a thing we want. We don't want madness buildup. Getting hit by a critical amount of madness buildup will cause you a lot of damage and drain all your FP. Underneath the tower, we can't see the giant evil eye. Oh! Crap! We're getting stone piled! And maddened. Shit, I should have tagged the grace really close to here. Because now we have to go all the way from the Pelham Church. Well, I'll see you in a bit.
kids. I'm not safe on the map this year. Rats later. The Howl of Shabriri. Wait for the madness to settle. We have dragon eyes, not mad eyes. We don't want the madness. The madness can fudge off. No more madness! All you guys can fudge off with all your madness. There we go. So, what were they using to cause so much madness? Well, I'll show you. The Howl of Shabriri. An incantation originating from the maddening Three Fingers. Release a maddening shriek that causes madness buildups in foes near and uh, nearby. This incantation also causes madness buildup in the caster and makes enemy enemies more likely to ca uh, target them. It's said that the sickness of the flame frenzy began with Shabriri, the most reviled man in all of history. Oh crap! I did not mean to press that button. And in fact, I can just get out of here. I don't need to mess with that silly, silly rat anymore. Or her brood. Somewhere over here. Are those mad wolves? Was that just a golden wolf? No, oh, it was just a wolf with golden eyes. There we go. This is the grace that he should have tagged first. Uh, very quick check what the time is. Alright, I still have time. Well, while we're up here... We may as well have a little look at this quaint little village right underneath this tower that causes madness. I'm sure nothing can go wrong here. Oh, wait. Frenzied Flame Village. Oh my. Oh dear. I think all these people are fucked. Note, Lord of the Frenzied Flame. Well... Note sold by a nomadic merchant, except he didn't sell it to me. Beneath Lanedale at the very bottom lies our lord, lord of the frenzied, the three fingers who hold us in thrall. And, uh... Yeah. This does appear to be, uh... A merchant who's gone mad. A little cuckoo bananas. No. The cookbook that we're unlikely to use much of, but hey, who knows? There might be a situation where we can actually 
make a little use of some madness related crafting. Do hey guys, uh, did you consider this? There we go. Didn't want to fight that many all at once, so you just breathe on them and they die. Shabriri's woe. More on this Shabriri lad, which this is pretty funny talisman actually. Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. The corners of his mouth are upturned in almost flirtatious manner. Constantly attracts enemies' aggression. Yeah, this is the talisman that you equip to make the enemies almost exclusively want to target you. It said the man named Shabriri had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander and with time, the blight of the frame of flame of frenzy came to dwell within the empty sockets. So, a man punished for the crime of slander. Alright, I'm gonna equip Rotten Breath and- Oh! Hello, rat! I have... Hopefully, one other challenge to sort through. Right here, right now. Ah, Lord Vike, it seems that you were no lord after all. Then where is he, our true lord, our lord of frenzied flame? We beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, may chaos take the world! Yeah, Vike. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, dang it. Vike, I want to breathe on you. Was that enough? I don't think that was enough. Do I have another Cerulean Tears? I do not. Okay. Oh crap, I didn't have enough of peat for that. I forgot about that! Right. Yeah, no. Ow! Dang it, Vike! Shit. Fuck! He's coming with the madness! Ah! No! Woof! Yeah, you've got the bottle too! But your spear is faster than mine! Ah, oh, shit! Low ground, he's got an advantage. He can jump back and. No! Bad Vike! Crap! He got me with the madness again! Got it! Dodge! Shit, I'm on the high ground again, which against this guy is bad. Shit. There with that. Come on! Just one! Bah! I got greedy. One poke.
and definitely take him if I don't get greedy at the end there. I was trying to just one, one tiny little poke in. Alright. Don't worry. I got this. I do think if I can get the proper rot breath on him to start with, that will make the fight a lot easier. Hitting him with it's gonna be tough, but not impossible. I think I might be able to catch him as he spawns in enough residual dragon breath. I'll be able to make it work. Did I get him? That was not enough. Ah, shit! Alright. Come at me, bike! Eat the rot! Dang it, that was still not enough rot? Bike, stop being such a dingus and let me... Oh, the laser beam! I was not expecting that one! Shit! Ah, the spear's so fast. Crap. I pressed the wrong button! It's fast and it's... Alright. One more. Crap! Got you. Woo! We got a grape and we got a spear. His spear which inflicts madness, which I think... To my... Memory right off the top of my head. Where the heck am I? Oh, okay. We're over here. To my... To my memory, his spear. I think it's the only weapon that causes madness on build-up. Hmm. Finger Maiden equipment. Finger Maiden fillet, robe, and shoes. No gloves to go with it. And a sacred tear. Oh, this was a maddening episode. I do think I'm going to end it here, but I am not going to end it until... Let's see, where is it? There we go. Vike's War Spear. War Spear singed and blistered by fingers. Used by Vike, Knight of the Round Table Hold. Like Vike himself, it's been tormented by the Yellow Flame of Frenzy from within. Unique skill, flen Frenzy Flame Thrust. Imbue the spear with the Flame of Frenzy. Leap forwards, plunging it to the ground and setting off a maddening explosion. Skill inflicts both the enemy and the user with madness. Yeah. It causes madness buildup. I think to my memory it's unique in that. I don't think any of the other ones do. Like any other weapon. Oh well. Golden seeds, we have another flask, and our flasks heal more. Excellent. And we tagged another two graces. There's still this to investigate. Actually, no there isn't, not yet. We can't investigate that yet. We have a minor Erd tree. Might as well just mark things. Yeah, and then we can have bypassed the, the silly ruins of uh, the old 
palace. Because I do not like the ruins of the old palace. It's full of mean people. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think, that's, uh, I think that's a wrap for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Hey.